So this is a little video to demonstrate how to apply spiker cast. Spiker casts are used for immobilization of femur fractures as well as the hip following um, pelvic osteotomies and open hip reductions. But before you start, it's important to prepare everything you need. Starting with six slabs of 150 millimeter pop, you need um, four to six rolls of various sizes of plaster of Paris. You need a large socket for the body. You need two small socket nets for the legs. Then you need some dynacast, a lunchbox to put in the abdomen to allow for chest and abdominal distension. Two 50 millimeter slabs for hip reinforcement and a second right so once the patient is asleep you wrap this one has a little wool so that it does not cause pressure on the patient's body place a little upside over the genitalia and then before you move the patient down you start by applying the stopping it stopping it or the spine motion reach the level of the patient's nipples so also make sure that your anesthetist places the uh, easy g stickers high enough then you just have this stuff in it like this. You should go and also uh, at the back, this thing. That's the point. This scissors. And then so if you, you have some ready, just use some microphone to secure the stuff in there to the chest so that it doesn't move down there with the application process. And you take your smaller stuff in there. For the legs to keep it. One on that side. So the leg with the fracture is in this case is the right femur, and on this side you will do a long leg faster and then a half spike on the unfractured side. Um, you can or you can't, or you don't have to incorporate the foot, that is entirely up to you. Um, I like leaving the foot out. Okay, and once that is done, you can use some more of your microphone to just stick these things together so it doesn't slip out. Okay, now the lunchbox gets placed in. Don't make it too big because then, uh, then the cast will and the spike will be too loose. And this is especially important when you're doing the spike for a DDH because then you need the leg to be very, very properly immobilized. Okay, so that's good. Now, once you've done all this prep, you can move the patient down onto the spike plate. So with the knees at this time, Immobilization is 60 degrees flexion and 30 to 40 degrees abduction with the knee at 90 degrees. Okay, make sure you have your rotation right so the hip, the knee, and the ankle needs to align well um, as rotation doesn't be modeled very well in this kit. Just make sure that you can reach and that the patient's back. Otherwise, this is adjustable. So if it's a, a taller child, this can be moved out so that you have more space. The back. You're already losing abduction, but it's important to keep an eye on that. Okay, so you start with your first 150 millimeter slab. This is just wrap around the patient's body like this. Do this with two sets. Before you start applying the leg, just make sure you're happy with the position again. So that's quite nice. You need to be able to put a fist in between the spikers over the perineum so that there's a nice place for hygiene and for the diaper to be applied. Okay. Now there's two slabs for each leg. We'll start the unfractured leg in this case. So this is important I to show it nicely. You start at the top and you come around the leg and 
this and around the back. You see. And again, pay attention to your margins at the perennial uh, perennials that you don't have to close. Second slab. This one you start at the back. And then you come over the front around the back again. And now this is registrar's corner. So this is what we try to avoid. We try to avoid having a 90 degree angle at this corner because that weakens the cost. It forms a stress riser and they break there. Okay, so coming around the back, around the thigh, and on to the back again. And all the while looking at your corners, making sure that you have adequate abduction and that the position doesn't get lost. Like that. You can see the sharp angle I was talking about there. So we're going to try and hide that adequate abduction from the. Okay. So there, that's actually better. Now we've got a slightly less acute angle there at the critical point. basically the sum total of your effort to reduce the fracture. At this age, children will model basically end the form. So that's basically the most important part of this bike application. The rest is all cosmetic and reinforcement. So these are the little uh, 50 millimeter slabs we made at the beginning. We put them in each corner here, and that's just to reinforce it. But as you can imagine, the corners are the weaker spots where the spike has can break. Don't put too much plaster of Paris because somebody has to remove this cast and fill it, and it's not fun um, if you've got a very thick spike. Now you can start rolling over your edges. So it gives it a quite a nice finish. Off. Parents often complain about hard edges, especially around the chest. So we'll just be mindful of that. apply the stick and this further stops it holds it up in abduction so that it doesn't break. Yeah, we are now. Okay, so now you're finished. Patient's still asleep, you can remove the lunchbox. You see there's quite a lot of space now for the chest to spin and span. It's a little bit tight here, but there's almost enough space for my fist to go in there. And then you can also look at the back. 
see that there's no hard edges. I've trimmed it a little bit there. That's a nice smooth edge. So that should do the trick.